We're here today to demonstrate how to install a passive flux meter. Uh, the passive flux meter comes in a shipping tube that looks something like this, just a PVC pipe with end caps. The top of the flux meter again has a stainless steel loop connected to it. And then we're going to connect another stainless steel wire with a similar loop using an oval uh, clamp. Here we'll just hook that through and thread this up. And that can just be hand tight because it shouldn't come loose when it's in the well. The flux meter itself will look like this. It's basically got a red mesh protective material on the outside. It's two inch diameter. And when we push it into the well, we'll be pushing on this center tube right here. The PVC tube that's connected down to the bottom. So when we push it in, uh, it's really pulling from the bottom of the flux meter and sliding it into the well. One important part of uh, installing the flux meter is that we need to make sure the well top of the casing is smooth and doesn't have any uh, sharp edges. And so we might need to take a little piece of sandpaper and just smooth that out to make sure it's not going to cut on the flux meter as it goes into the well. The other thing is that the other end of the cable that we're installing, uh, just as a safety precaution, we'll typically put a uh, something like this to prevent it from falling down the well. So we're safe in that respect. So in order to push the flux meter into the well, what we typically use is this threaded rod. Like this, we've got a, uh, uh, a wing nut on it that's actually going to do the pushing into the well. And then we've got a, a longer extension to clip to that. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, insert this right into the centerpiece right there. And so then the washer, the wing nut, will be doing the pushing. It, it'll be actually pushing the flux meter down into the well. And we'll hold on to this cable at the same time. So what I'll do is uh, line it up with the well. Like so. And then uh, I'll grab the cable and start pushing the rod down into the well. And so the flux meter is now sliding down into the top of the well casing. And when I get to about this point, what I'll typically do is pick up on the, uh, on the casing. And I look down at the bottom of the well. And you can see that down here is both the cable and this. And I'll just pull this up. And just drop that. So I'll go ahead and pull up the flux meter so you can see it. Again, this is pushing at the top of the flux meter. And the cable is the mechanism for retrieving. And so what we'll do now is advance the cable and the flux meter. And what we typically have used is a uh, extension geoprobe system that uh, I'll try to get a zoom in on this. We'll clip in like that and then straighten it out. Uh, the obvious mechanism there, uh, once it's in the well screen, it can't so come apart. We continue to advance the flux meter, pushing the rods down until you feel it hit the bottom of the well. And at that point, uh, once you're down to the bottom, you go ahead and just pick up on these rods and uh, they'll come right out of the top and then go ahead and pull it out and you'll take these apart and continue to pull it out until you have it all. So now the flux meter is in place and it'll stay there until retrieval. Right, so we're ready to uh, pull the flux meter out of the well and uh, the, one, the one trick is that uh, we'll have to take this off in order to slide the cable through the tube that we're going to pull it into. And uh, so one, one way you might typically do that is to start pulling up on the flux meter. You can feel it uh, sliding up as I'm pulling it out of the well. And once I've got enough cable out, I might stop and uh, take this off and slide it through the tube. And that way we can slide the flux meter directly into the tube that, we're, uh, that we want to do the sampling from. So at that point, I'll just pull the cable through and line it up. And then I can continue pulling the flux meter up 
into the tube. You just feel it hitting uh, the bottom there. I'll line this up. Here's the uh, tube, and I'll just pull it up so we can see a little bit of the flex meter inside of the tube. And so now it's completely contained within the original shipping tube, and we're ready to do the sample.